What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We are here with Atticus Tally Garrus, and we are still on Ilium. We are doing something for Liara, which is called System Hacking. We haven't found any yet, but we are kind of in the same area, so once we maneuver out of these areas, I'm sure we will actually find these. Hack security nodes, find security terminals, hack them, and then locate the nearby vulnerable data and upload it to Liara. We are also here for a certain assassin and a certain Justicar, Thane Krios and Justicar Samara. We will try to get to one of them. The goal is to get to the assassin first. I feel like I want to do this one first, but I could imagine our time here in Ilium will be full of ruffling feathers. <laughs> so let's get out and ruffle some and then see what happens from here. We'll got to keep an eye out for these nodes. They got to be around somewhere. So I feel I'm like for the oh, best this guy, there's a little guy again. Have. He's on about stuff. <laughs> It's all about his crazy shit. Anyways, I feel like we should go to make you more intelligent. Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Architectural Union has noted a correlation between tested intelligence and height of habitat. The news comes as new homes ranging from studio apartments to spacious rooftop mansions enter into open market bidding. Hey Garris. Anyways, what I was saying, I want to go to the bar first. Before that lady had her just random banter. So when you go in these hallways, it's just random banter then? Because the hallway up to the Liara's office was kind of random radio banter. Anyways, let's go to this bar. I believe it was, yeah, Eternity Bar. Yep. Yep. Definitely. That's where we're going. Excuse me, ladies. Shepard here. I'm oh, gonna have sorry. that asshole arrested. Fine troublemaker? Excuse me, ma'am. Ilium, a troublemaker. Someone is making trouble in Eternity. The popular bar on Ilium. Go to Eternity and look for the man causing trouble. Do you need help? Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. The whole place? Just, hey, you need to give me this bar right now. <laughs> this motherfucker is so drunk, he's trying to get the bar. Good to know. Do you need help? Good to know. Thank you. I guess I'll go drink with I'll him. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self-defense. I'd make a really good witness. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Okay. Let's go drink with him. You got anything else? No? Does this thing have anything Captain new? Hannah Shepherd has apparently turned you down heard an this. star and will remain in command of the Orizaba. The captain deemed her promotion to admiral a political ploy and said that she could best honor her child's legacy by captaining a ship. Good on you, mama. Keep up the good fight. Keep on keeping on. All right, let's go to the bar. Is this a bar? Oh yeah, it definitely is a bar. Hello. You guys need help here? You need a hand? I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. Should we go this way? It's probably ba Oh my word. I won't even be able to concentrate with uh, thinking of things to say. We'll just stay on this side here, huh? <laughs> hey, Solarian, it's your bachelor party? I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. <laughs> you ain't here for the drinks, man. Look at his face. He is literally burning holes right through her ass. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. <laughs> are they, though? Solarians live to like 40. Okay, dogs don't really live to 40. There ain't no way. Well, in dog years, yeah, definitely. I had a dog live to like 90 in dog years, I think. What is a dog years? Like 12 years to one year type of thing? Maybe? Anything else? I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very limber. Yeah. She is. 
Shall we keep on going? I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay, that makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. <laughs> this isn't as bad as I'd fear. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Yeah. Okay, you see that bit there? A little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them, and you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. Not the point, man. You probably can, unless it's Turian liquor. Right? I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Salarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Salarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Look at the head fringe. Wait. You don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. <laughs> I want to see a Turian woman. We haven't seen one yet. Have we seen Salarian women yet? Maybe. I feel like we might have. Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. <laughs> You're here for the drinks, though. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family oh, that simply was cool. negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Wait, for some reason I can't move. Yeah, I think I'm stuck. It looks like we're gonna have to go around this way, I think. Yeah, we can go this way. We can't make it the other way. Excuse me. Oh, oh, we're stuck this way. I guess we're gonna have to go back. All right, come on. Your dog. It's Atticus, he's got a mind of his own, it ain't me. Let's go to, shall we? <laughs> Fucking Conrad murder! This is the guy in the first game! Right? The mother effort art. What the hell was the name of that quest? Citadel, the fan, the fan, yeah. Hey, this is the guy we signed the autograph for. Should we sign anything? We ain't signed nothing this time. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh -huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh -huh. This lady's like, wait, what? Hey man, remember me? What are you doing with that N7 armor on? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? <laughs> Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a specter? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Hit him, shoot his foot, or crying out loud. We shoved a gun in his face? When the hell did I shove a gun in his face? I definitely didn't shove no gun in his face, did I? She said, let me slap. Better get him out of here before I slap his ass with a singularity. Ma'am, I will pay for that shit. Please slap him with that singularity. Have him just... <laughs> fucking flopping in the air. Like a goddamn trash bag in a wind. Like a fucking newspaper just flapping in the wind. A ball of dust. For crying out loud, comrade. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. You kinda are. You got an N7 gear on. Oh, we can talk about the N7 gear. Conrad's training N7 armor. Conrad's job. Security detection. <laughs> I can slap his ass with a singularity. I gotta just... Ma'am, I am taking that saying. 
Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. <laughs> and then you died. What the fuck? The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. You were a big jerk. And then you died. You big jerk, Shepard. And seven armor. How you got that armor? Now how did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. <laughs> the lady in the background's like, what a fucking loser. <laughs> Comrade's job, what do you do? So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates too. You know, for extra credits. You're literally spitting image of Shepard. <laughs> I mean, hey, everyone is around just waiting for Shepard to talk to them and solve their problems. And on the way, you kind of poke through some crates here and there and you get some money. Did you happen to get that 6,000 credits that I left on Corliss? Please? Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Can we get lost? What were you doing here? Yeah, what were you doing here? The lady, this is the guy. <laughs> the guy that's causing trouble in the bar, this is probably him. What were you doing here? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Let me handle this? Yeah, Conrad. Somebody in the carport? Where the fuck's the carport at? I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, <laughs> Shepard. Can we recruit this lady? Come on, you got Singularity, me and you will be a badass team! Hold on here, Conrad. We got some Paragon friends, there we go. Ilium Conrad Werner. The person making trouble in Eternity is actually Conrad Werner, an obsessed fan trying to prove himself. An Asari weapons merchant tricked him into trying to shut down Eternity for unknown reasons. Interesting. So right there, it's pretty much letting us know that that lady, sorry merchant, pretty much is using him. Huh. Okay, quest log. Talk to a sorry weapons merchant and find out why she lied to Conrad. Find the troublemaker. Alright, let's talk to this awesome lady. What is her name? Bartender? You gotta have a name. You're too cool to just have a regular Thanks name. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. <laughs> anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? Sorry, matriarch? Athena? That's a cool name. Matriarch, really? What the hell are you doing here? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. <laughs> what the hell? That's quite a family. Mother, parents in war, father, working at bar, and long life stand. Alright, mother. Sure. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. 
My god, SL was embarrassing. <laughs> You're so cool. Parents in wars? That would be an interesting relationship. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn Genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. The Asari matriarchs are pretty much leaders of the Asari people, yeah? Why are you at the bar, though? They said that, that she said that they didn't want to listen to her wise counsel. Athena, I would listen to your wise counsel. You're talking about taking spines out and beating people to death with them and slapping people's ass with singularities. What more do you need? What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were going to have it out and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. What a kick in the quad. This lady is full of one-liners that just stick to you. What a kick in the quad. <laughs> father, tell me about your father. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. What the hell are you doing in this bar? Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. You talking about Benezia? Yeah, she's gotta be talking about Benezia. Called her a screw-up with Saren. Hey, she kind of came around at the end. She sure did. She was indoctrinated, though. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. I serve drinks. Laugh the blue right off my ass. <laughs> She's talking about making new mass relays. Athena, your ways are intriguing, interesting. Why the hell wouldn't they want to try to do that? Ends don't justify the means? Is that what they're thinking? But seriously, making our own mass relays? That would be a hell of an achievement. Long lifespan. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent, wars break out, colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. How did they look inside those suits? Interesting, so she had a pure-blood daughter. Liara told us about the pure-blood stuff, how it's kind of like... When people call them pure-bloods, it's kind of like... An insult to their people. Interesting. Alright, well, take it easy, Athena. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? How about a drink? Time to get drunk, huh? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. I once saw a Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Six or seven hundred years ago, I saw that. What the fuck? See you, man. Thanks ma for setting up the drinks. Right. 
Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. We'll get cramps. How do I get a drink? Excuse me? Okay, let's get drunk. Shot of liquor, a mysterious drink. Let's do, it's only five credits, 10 credits, and 25. Let's start with a shot. Get jacked up here. What's up, Garrus? Garrus, grab a seat. Get a drink. The nuts are for you. I believe purchased. Shot of liquor purchased down the hatch. Come on. Glass of wine. <laughs> Come on, Garrus. What the hell, man? Glass of wine purchased. Enjoy. <laughs> We're getting mystery. Oh, hold on. Let's let's read it. The best shot of liquor. The best Asari liquor money can buy. Much more refined than that Krogan swill. Glass of wine. A sweet and mellow glass of famous Asari honey mead. Mystery drink? Whatever this is, it's rumored to come from the deepest reaches of the Traverse, distilled on a shadowy nameless planet by specifically adapted Borcha. Specifically adapted Borcha. Yes, please. Sure. 25 credits. <laughs> We're gonna fall over. We ain't fucking fall over, but we are drunk. Mystery drink purchase. Hold on to your livers. <laughs> what an ass. What's up, Tally? What's up, Garrus? I'm drunk. What's up, Conrad? I'm talking to the weapons merchant. Remember, she's at the shop by the carport. Okay. Athena. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. Wait. What happened to your face? What? Did you just bug out? <laughs> I turned into somebody else! What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. What the hell is going on? Thanks for telling me about that. Pleasure as always. She's away. <laughs> Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. Wait, so we can have sex if the bar was dirty? Got it. All right, take it. Just care. looking around. Pleasure as always. <laughs> what the hell? Her model just changed. Seriously, was that a bug or was that because we were fucking drunk off our ass? <laughs> but you're already. Wait, who's in here? And he says. Oh, it's okay. Tana? Our amino acids are all different, Man, so it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then, I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a Quarian. How could he be so insensitive? A son of a bitch. Wait, this is Lantea. That's, that's a familiar name. Where the hell was that? Mission. Miranda. Mother. Take her back to Oriana. See, because I don't want to read it because I don't want it to go away. I like when it blinked because that lets me know I didn't do it yet. I almost want to guarantee that Miranda's quest is Lantea. Because I remember saying, wow, what a really awesome name. Do you have any more dialogue here? This Quarian? You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone who food you can eat even. Like, hey, yeah, Quarians and Torians eat the same food, yeah? So, how about you think about it? Maybe. She's oblivious to it. Yeah, she is. Honestly, though, I'd feel really terrible. Let's just, I'm just gonna blunt force say it. I would, don't even know if I could live with myself if me and Tally had sex and then she died because of it. Seriously. If Shepard and Tally just got it on and she end up getting an infection from it and died? That would be horrible. So you could imagine that that person was probably scared. 
Maybe. What's up, Tally? We ain't talking about you. I swear. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a vid or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. We could watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of uh, Turian and Quarian relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... what? Oh yeah, standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh here, let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me human, private conversation. No. Uh, a little space please. <laughs> a little space in space? Don't mind me. <laughs> Talking about a fucking space vibrator or something? So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our okay. amino acids are all different. All right, well, let's so go over like to the carport. Not natural. there, not there. I'm I know, I know. Lantea, I'm not going to talk to that person. So then, I had to explain not yet. Fluid let's just do it. Let me just not do to it. to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insane? If it bugs me that much, I'll make a save and then reload so it comes back. You know, it's okay to reload it just so I can get this new one there again. Speak to Lantea. Yes, Lantea. There it is. Okay, it's not gonna hurt me to keep it on there. Let's just keep it on there. Sure. Who needs the blinky thing? We don't need it. Hey, man, we. Oh, she's gone. All right, he said the carport. Werner said the carport. So we'll head over to the carport. Gosh, Ilium has got amazing. a lot of stuff You're in Ilium, friends. To touch things up, are you? <laughs> it's not. I just this game is very linear, but it's so impacted with shit that it's just so damn enjoying. I love hearing the little conversations between people because, just face it, it builds the world. It makes the world bigger than what it feels like. Galaxy, in Mass Effect's case, it makes a galaxy bigger. It just, it builds up the immersion for it, Solarian. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all, for mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. We'll just have to hope, hey. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Something about Asana Dantius? That you lost something? Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Let me know what you're talking about, then. Shipping? Oh, wait. There was something in shipping, yeah? Serena. S Sina? Serena. We know that name. Hold on, we gotta read again. We gotta read another one. It's either the Justicar or the Assassin. We haven't read the Assassin one yet. Oh, the Serena. This is the Assassin person. We just gotta be careful. So, who do we talk to with the Justicar one? Officer Dara. So, we need to avoid Officer Dara, Serena, and Miranda's, which is fine. We'll avoid you for now. Sorry, but we'll be back. That's where we start Thane Krios' mission. I want to explore. I want to do all the side things first before we do the missions. Kind of like how we dealt with Omega. I really want to do Liara's mission. Have we not found anything yet? How much more areas are there to go into? We have an area over here. Oh. Wait. Shipping and cargo. We just went through this whole area. Aside shipping and cargo area. We haven't seen nothing to scan yet. Or hack. Tracking office. Aria Frontiers Taxi Gateway. Customer safety is important. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them go. seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Danger means more contract work? There's something to scan right here. Hack terminal. Hold on. Should we look around first? For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours plus overtime. 50 hours plus overtime. Yeah, let's talk to people first. I want to... This doesn't look too big. Oh, this is it. We explored all of it then, unless there's other floors. But... You can sell get... something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. 
Whoa. Don't let him. <laughs> I love this walk away, two feet, and then come oh, back. No, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. Not many people do read labels. Do you read labels? When you actually get, like, food or something, do you read the labels and stuff? Or not even that, just anything. Do you just read labels at all? I really won't lie, I kind of read everything. It's just like reading codexes. In their own weird way. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're, you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. The stupid drug users you're laughing at, I might have been one of them. I'm sorry to hear that. That's so terrible that they would treat people like that. What did they do the whole time? When before space flight, were they rudely calling people purebloods? No, probably not. I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. A sorry? We got a sorry talk to over there. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus system oh, are that. great for business. Okay, let's go and talk to I people. I want to do Liara's thing last year. Point. Danger means more There's a lot of stuff. Let's talk to this. Is sorry. I'm telling you, relax. Dax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car. I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. The okay, the other guy talked about Nasana Dantius, and this lady's talking about somebody named Thax, which is has something connection with the adjustment. I'm on a call. You are, but I want to disturb you. Do you mind? I'm on a call. Who is it? I'm on a call. 911. All right, let's go. <laughs> Wait, she might have something else. I'm on a call. All right, all right. Take it easy. Don't make it a steamy conversation. Secure terminal. We can hack that one. That's another one to hack. Who? Your sure hey, gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. There you go. Hey, excuse me. Can I help you with something? Conrad Werner spoke with you. I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. How stupid do you think we are? Shut up and listen. I'll help you. Oh, we can lie to her. Ooh. Can we lie to her? Tell her to shut up and listen, though? Hmm. I feel like this one's gonna be a nasty ruse we're gonna do. And it's gonna be really embarrassing for some reason. More than just shut up and listen. Like, we're gonna lie and act like we're gonna help, and then we're gonna stab her in the back <laughs> the last second or something. I'll help you, sure, yeah, come on. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. Yeah. Anything for you. Return to Conrad. Return to Conrad Vernon and inform him of the outcome of the talk. Plus five Paragon! Ain't it in. <laughs> We're getting a lot of that. This lady's gonna go to Eternity and get Singularity immediately. She gave us a discount too. <laughs> Heavy skin weave, some machine gun damage. Yes, we need that bed. 50,000 credits? I don't wanna buy anything right now. That just made me sad. So much money. Oh, they're actually, oh, this is shoulder pads? Amplifier plates? Using their expertise in 
policing dangerous situations with limited assets, Elanis Risk Control Services ERCS has created shoulder protection that includes an internal microcontrol system to maximize resources. Increased power damage by 5%. This is only 1,666 credits. Let's get it. I want to hold off on this stuff right now. The other machine had metagel upgrades. This one has submachine gun, heavy skin weave. Oh, 30% health. Yes, please. But that submachine gun damage, though. We'll come back because there might be more machines to use here. Hey, do you have anything else, Solarian? You said some kind of banter, but I would love it if you had more. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. If you say so. Hell of a sni- I want a sniper rifle so bad. So bad. Anything else? It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, <laughs> um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average, and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. Wait, you want her to pay you to reproduce? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's not how it works. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding? Don't even start with me. They, they think with their head. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. Yeah, but why do you want to join Eclipse? I feel like it's not going to go well for you. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commander? Oh, we heard this. Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well hey, use them, right? Else over here? Damn, oh, there's that's another machine. A hell of a sniper Memories rifle. of Ilium? Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow <laughs> thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Hey, you singing a poem to this lady? <laughs> Hold on, we gotta hear more of this shit. Excuse me, Tally. Blue Rose of Ilion. You have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. But beauty under glass is untested and weak. Where <laughs> are your honored dead? To fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. On the rocky plains of Tachanka, I will build you a garden from the bones of my ancestors. Your head just did some crazy shit. What is your name? <laughs> He said it fucking glass and plastic. <laughs> Blue Rose of Ilium. Leave eternity unembraced and grapple in the glorious struggle that is us. Here and now. I am speechless. Not with blood rage, but with love. And I stand here, humble and mute, to offer you a home. Come to me. Blue Rose of Ilium. Let our three hearts beat as two. <laughs> Let our three hearts. <laughs> Crow gonna have two hearts, yeah? Anything else? Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is too survive... We heard this one. It must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. You're awesome. Keep on singing. She might actually Blue Rose of buy it. You have lost Sorry. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. He likes you. <laughs> I'm just here to shop. Do you need help? He likes you. Oh, Blue Shepherd's Rose like, of he likes you. Let your roots dig deep Do you need help? into hey. the hot soil of Tachanka. You think she needs help with them? Let Is he making her feel uncomfortable, though? 
Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. It's actually not terrible, ma'am. In a Krogan way, it's really good. Plus, he does flex. Did you see that muscles? Reason for breakup? Why'd you break up? Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. But even so, even if he wanted kids with you, it doesn't mean they would turn it... Like, they're not going to turn into Krogan. I believe when Asari has kids, it's all Asari. It always turns into Asari. So, I think he really loves you. He wants to have kids because he loves you. Well, the way I say that... Okay, he'll have kids with her, but will they be welcome on Tachanka? Blue Rose of Ilium. Maybe not. Leave eternity that sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that, that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Well, then he really loves you. Maybe you should consider it. Reason for dating? It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. He looks like he's dependable. What is going on here? A lot of Asari Krogan love in the air. I like it. A lot of love, a lot of Asari Krogan. We should make a decision. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Oh, we could tell her to get rid of him? Oh my word. Can we be that shepherd? Can we be that type? Get rid of him. Have me instead. Actually, have Garrus. Should take him back. I really think you should get with him. He seems to really love you. Don't get rid of him. Ultimately, it's your choice. But I'd rather you go back to him than get rid of him. Yeah. She seems like she loves him too, but she's confused. She doesn't know. Get back with the stallion. What's his name? Char? Get back with... Get back with old Char. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean... What if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I... I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Thank you? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite... Citadel. One... Citadel. What does he say? <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard. This is my favorite store on Ilium. <laughs> Whoa. Pre-jag paddlefish. Flat blue fish known for their odd locomotion and feeding habits. Oh shit, they got crazy feeding habits? How much time do how much do I gotta feed you though? Oh, we got all, all this stuff. Alliance cruiser? Anthabasca class freighter? Let's get the fish! Thank you. Model Alliance Cruiser. A ship model of an Alliance Cruiser. Uh, yes please. We can hang these in the little area where we're reading the messages. And then let's get this one too. Oh! Well that's... If there's a shop on the other side, then... We'll look at that last shop, and then we'll consider coming to this one and buying stuff. I think we should buy the... Do we want to go with the saying a good offense is a great defense type of thing? Or do we want to start laying waste to people more with our submachine guns? What about a fish? She loves the garden. 
We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. Where did when did you guys have dialogue? Because she didn't have dialogue with Char there. Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Ilium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? A sorry skin color and the Doppler effect? Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. How old are you then? This is your dad? Interesting. Because a sorry or Solarian's only lived to like 40. So she must be really young. Her first mate. Your father? He got her things when he traveled. It's not a competition, Dad. You don't even really remember him. And she found me after he died. And I'm almost 35. Hey, I remember him. And I want to remember you. That's why I came on this trip. This is heartwarming stuff. On Ilium. I really love Ilium a lot. This has got to be my favorite place so far that we visited. There's so much little interactions, nice little lore dumps all over the place, and just nice heartwarming things. So that really wasn't her father. Stepfather, basically. Okay. Anyway. Not a fish. Something that'll last. You'll make sure she keeps it. Yeah. I'll make sure. How about this one? When anything goes, it goes to Ilium. That's kind of funny. Mom will love it. When anything goes, it goes to Ilium. Yeah, Ilium is a lovable place. It surely is. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. We already heard that. Okay, let's go to the other side now. It's just... We're looking for weapons. We really are knocking out seriously? most of this stuff. I would hey, say I next episode we're probably going to get to actually some of the missions here. <laughs> I could imagine. <laughs> Officer no, Dora, there's Officer Dora, the Jessica thing. Yet. She insists oh. it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. She Allah, remember her? This is the lady from Pharos. Shepherd. I I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Well, Zeus Hope, yeah, of course I remember you. I don't feel like she looked like this, though, didn't she? Was she this color? I felt like she was blue. How's Zeus Hope? Yeah. How the hell's Zeus Hope doing? How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Oh, well, I guess that's okay. Are people in danger? Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Can I offer assistance what brings you here? Yeah, if we can help in any way, again, sure, definitely. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Why are you green? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm telling you, she was a different color. I knew it. Scanning contract, health problems. Let's ask her. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print... We apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. They're studying you. That's exactly what the hell them shady bastards are doing. Is this a threat? Yeah, it's a threat, definitely. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. 
which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. You definitely can't. Health problems? What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Why the hell are you green, ma'am? I kind of feel like that's a bad thing to say, is it? But not really, no. Yeah, maybe. Why are you green? Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Are you sure you're not indoctrinated? That's something to think about. Let me handle it. I don't have time for this. Yeah, let me handle this person. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Okay, this is literally... Ilium is a great place. I really did like uh, Omega, but Ilium... All this stuff here, so much throwbacks to the first game. It's just literally impacted. Aria Frontier? Who's the... Who's that? Aria... Oh, right here. Oh, there's a shop. Oh, no. Let's talk to her first. Rinya? I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why so angry? Fine. Goodbye. See ya. You guys are screwed, Shiala. Sorry. Time to go save the galaxy again. Except for you. I'm going to save your problems. What's the point? Listen, what the hell's the point? Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Yeah, but why, why are you being like that? Asari reproduction? Alternate procedures? Let me just, we'll start at the top. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. This is because they're human? No, I don't know, is it? So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I remember her. Wait. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Tell me about your family. They didn't hate aliens? She has so much more to say. And this is already out here. Goodbye. Friends, should we ask her more? Or... Oh, we're gonna miss out on Paragon and Renegade if we ask more. No, it shouldn't go away, yeah? Let's ask more. Humans as saviors? You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian Spectre led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. That sounds per- Oh, we lost the fucking dialogue, no! Whose deaths are we talking about, exactly? 
The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. We literally already asked her. Well, we already heard that part, basically. So... We can listen to all of them, yeah? You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilion's contract analysts should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. I... Please be kind. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. A sorry reproduction. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. Ah. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughter. We already heard all that. I'm speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. They didn't hate aliens. Tell me about your family. Well, I think your family didn't hate aliens whatsoever because your bond mate died on a Quarian homeworld at the Quarians. Your one daughter worked in the embassy to Citadel, she said. Well, what other, what a sorry did we meet in the embassy? We met a greeter there. Was your daughter the greeter in the embassy? But well, your other daughter was the greeter at... Kors, or not Kors then, at Shaira's place. The lady that we met when we first went to Shaira's. Oh, that's terrible. Tell me about your family. They didn't hate aliens. Well, they didn't hate aliens, but... Should we just matter a factor? I kind of want to matter a factor. I really want to know more about a family. Um. Let me know more about your family, though, because I really want to zing her and tell her the hard truth of it. But. I really want to know more about her family first. Why was your bondmate on the quarry in Homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. I like that. That was really good. I wanted to zinger though. But that paragon was so good. Inform Shiala, Barrier Frontiers. Oh, what is this? Star charts? Hades Nexus? Navigational charts for the Hades Nexus system? What the hell is this doing? Is this opening up new areas for us to explore? Let's get it. Star chart Minos Wasteland. Navigational charts for Minos Wasteland. 
Yes, please. Sure. Star chart for Pylos Nebula. Navigational charts for Pylos Nebula. Star chart, Shriek Abyssal. Navigational charts for Shriek Abyssal. Yes, please. Hold on. Let me just say how much they are. They're 500 credits, all of them. Absolutely cheap as hell. We just bought this lady out of star charts. All right. Well, let's go back to Shiala. Damn, did are we going to get to Leora? Oh, yeah. I did. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. No, they're not. Listen, she's having a rough time of it. She really wasn't a bad lady once she got... Like, her hatred of, like, her daughter's dying, it's, it just shocked her so much. And she just hated everything. But she needed to learn the way. And Shepard picking her up like that really probably changed her. And she's probably not that zealous against other races now because of that. You know, Irinya really... won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. She might have been. I mean, who knows? We don't really know her. We can't fully judge her from what she was like right now. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. There's a lot of pure blood stuff going on here. Basically, it's given us more insight on the pure blood. I kind of had a feeling it would, because while well, we're in a sorry populated place, a pretty big a sorry populated place. Pure bloods place. are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like pure bloods either, but that's going a little far. What the hell is an Ardat Yakshi? Have we ever read about that? I don't think so. Anything else? They should be prohibited from breeding. What was your father again? Salarian. Oh. So... You probably never really got to know him, did you? Shut up. You got the damn star charts? Let's go. You got the damn star charts? Let's go. Go to the Shriek Abyssal area, because that sounds really awesome. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. Alright, well that would be that. You did it! I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Only with death? Focus on today? It's not all bad? It's not all bad all the time, Shiala, but I get what you're saying. I get how you're feeling. It almost feels like hope is lost all the time. But it's not all bad always. There are some bright lights out there. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Gonna make me blush. <laughs> Gianna Parasini kissed us. And she Allah wanted to go on a date with us. Look at this. <laughs> Friends, we're not gonna get the Liara stuff. Let me just do this this area here and try to figure out what the hell this is. Hack security terminal. Let's try to hack it. That didn't work out too well. Liara, sorry, I failed your quest. Game over. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's be more careful. There's one. Two. Yeah, look at the time. Because we got that upgrade, the time really slowed down. Right there. Oh yeah. What? Use the distance meter to locate the vulnerable system. One, one minute. Thirty. There's a counter right behind my big fat head. 
For example, you know that new higher. drug, the one that causes permanent Lower. neural scarring? That's horrible. It's a distance meter There's to locate the vulnerable system. Contract. Oh. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. Shit. Right I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Success? Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with what before that. What did that do? She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Friends, what Don't. The fuck I heard she do? married an Asari herself, had pure hey, blood. Hey, we got She's one down. Anything you can else? sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are oh, the there, terminus. There was like another systems. one over here, yeah? Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. Hack security system. Monitor it to keep some control or the smugglers get a monopoly. Blue. There it is. There's another one. Anywhere else? Right here. Easy peasy. We just gotta get to the code thing. This way? No. Not that way. This way. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. Maybe oh, a yeah. shirt. Or a car. It's right here. Alien. These little nodes. Hey, you're blue shifting already. Success! That's funny, right? A sorry skin color in the Doppler what effect? What are we doing for Dad, you, Liara? Just get her anything. Friends, I want to keep or doing don't. this. Is it doing anything? We can go back to Werner. System hacking. Find the terminals and hack them. A memento. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough okay. for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She Let's see if we can is. walk around know, and find still more. Still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All we gotta the go back to Werner. Right there on the package. It's Let's go back to Verns. Required. Comrade Verns. Labels though. So consider it a way. Is there to anything down and around here? Stupid to know their limits. What is this? Nothing. Let's go back to Vern. Conrad Vern. Or at least over in the area. But Sometimes there's no more. There wasn't no know. hacking Maybe stuff. Did Liara's quest up? Maybe we should just go to Liara. Then. Because this over here, I'm not seeing anything over here. I just don't want to get too close because I don't want anything to trigger, you know? For that Thane Krios quest. Is this anything? No? Hey, you got something? Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Hang that phone up because I'm walking past you. how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly. I don't know. Didn't know what to say. You want to know a secret? Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Couldn't come up with anything, Salarian. Sorry. All right. Friends, I'm just not... I don't know where there would be anything else. I want something that says because that one I own was on the room. wall. I own Is there you. anything over here? I'll see what we can do. Soon. No. Are you shorting? This isn't one either. Why not? There's nothing over here. I did it after Eden Prime. Liara, hey, your quest did an upgrade. Update. Sure, upgrade. Safe. Let's go back to Vern's. Conrad Vern's. <sighs> If this is the and best turn that have, in, I'll and then well, all the thing we have <sighs> left is to turn in Liara stuff. Confidence. When you join the Blue Suns Mercenary Group, you're getting a crash course in life. Join today and find out about our incentive program, signing bonuses, and retirement options. Blue Suns, we'll cut you a path to the future. You gonna join the Blue Suns? Go ahead, Garrus. Join the Blue Suns. You and Zaid will have a great time together. All right. Conrad, we pretty much dealt with the whole situation there. Damn it, this is just a misunderstanding! Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out. You don't want that. Because Athena will whoop your ass. Is there nothing to scan in here? There really, literally isn't. Respects you. I don't know what else we could right. scan for Liara. Oh, just going to stop dating for a while. Hey, Vern's. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. It was a sting. She was fake too. You blew her cover. Lied to him. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really? You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. 
Take it easy, Kron Kronrad. <laughs> hey, Athena. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. Just looking around. Pleasure as always. All right. This looks like one of the thingy majiggies that we could have, or that we did on the other side. If you're hurting for things to do, would there be anything to hack here? No. Would it be in there, possibly? Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry here, over here, no. Huh. Watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got a word well, the only thing we could possibly do is go back to Liara. There's nothing to hack here. We done ran around the whole of Ilium. There is nothing more to hack anywhere. That's why you need an Omni Gel programming solution. Unless I am literally just missing it. We're breaking down salvage. Nothing gear. here. Decision technology. Nothing be over here. There's some problems Omni Gel can't solve. For everything else, Wait. there's decision technology. We didn't check this one out. No, this is nothing too. Hey, are you I okay? feel like we're missing you something. It's not biotic neural itching, Is this quest is it tried is it bugged? Or did we already get all the stuff? We might have already got everything. Alright, so Conrad's done. Pack the security note. Maybe we just weren't thorough enough. Maybe I literally walked past something. But I just... I feel like we were. Right? These little thingy majiggies were something that we clicked on over there. The only other area I can think of is the little spaceport area. But maybe we should go back over to where Shiala was and just fully look more. That's the only other option I can think. Because it might be this way. Oh, it could be back here. No. Nothing. And it's not over there. We're missing something here. Another difficult A piece of the puzzle. As the on we'll find it. The has Maybe. Are a hey, we got friends. one here. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking There's about it. There's a machine there. You think it was easy growing up over there. I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. Was it down inside here? We got I this one the, one the second time. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Yeah. Why not? Every right here. Sorry has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Man, I must look like an idiot. Hell of a sniper rifle. If you say so. Pretty hard quest, Liara. No wonder you didn't go and hack it yourself. You couldn't find them all. Because I can't find them. It doesn't pinpoint anything on the map in Mass Effect, and I love that because just, it doesn't hold hands. We're looking for weapons. You gotta look. Shouldn't you be you taking this seriously? You gotta hey, dig. I'm 60 years old. Right, we're going the right way here. Find us, maybe. And Eclipse girls never. I didn't mean. Okay, look. I'll take another look oh, at the contract. Oh, it's this one. This little maybe machine, it isn't needs it? Needs to be reclassified. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. Okay, Liara. Plus five. Trust Renegade. me. The goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. Let's go and see Liara. Oh, no. Some of them seem We gotta do it now. We can't break it out. Friends. Let me read it. Let me read what she's got going on. Return to Liara's office and inform her that all the vulnerable data has been uploaded. Where, what data? The data that she needs. I wonder what it's for. I wish we knew what it was. Yeah, well, good job. I'm happy we just completely up, walked past Actually, that and it took me like an hour to walk around, literally. I was literally just walking around forever. Hey, Liara, I got the data. Can we talk more, please? Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. What? Information caches from his agents? Who is that? Yeah, who the hell's the Shadow Broker? I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is? He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, 
There's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Is he after you? Yeah, but I thought you were working for him. Are you on his side? Why did you want this? Is he after you, though? That is an interesting piece of dialogue, Shepard. Because it wouldn't cross my mind that she would be running from the Shadow Broker. I thought she was working for him. It, him, her, they, them. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. What? You're obsessed? What happened? What happened? I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Why don't you come with me? I'll help. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. Come on, Liara. You gonna be like Caden as well? We're not gonna be able to get Caden and Liara, huh? We still got a DLC for the Shadow Broker stuff. We gotta talk to Liara to start that. So that's something. Good luck with your plan. You're obsessed. I don't think she's obsessed. Good luck with your plan. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Let's get the Shadow Broker. Oh, so this makes sense now. Now she knows. She's saying the Shadow Broker's on the run from her. You trying to take down the Shadow Broker? Oh, that's pretty crazy, Liara. That's... Uh, what happened? <laughs> she got a renegade. I like it. I like it a lot. How are you? Remember the one time when we did our thing? You know, at the end of the sex scene, Shepard was like, you ready for round two? And she's like, Commander. <laughs> I think we rubbed off on her. How are you? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Okay, you got more. Really? Cool. What do you need? Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Five, she said. Do you need anything else? Let's intimidate him. Let's whoop their ass. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike, and we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. Do you know anything else? Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Okay. Yes, we. this is Renegade stuff. We're getting Renegade points for helping Liara. I wouldn't say this is Renegade, but I don't think we ever seen the Paragon in the middle. Let's. Yeah, we're definitely going to do it. Come on, I'm on it. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. Okay, toodles. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Alright, well, we're gonna stay the night in Liara's office here, and next episode, when we get back, look, we got all this stuff with Liara. Help Liara later. Promise assistance later. Plus two Paragon. 2,000 credits. Interesting. This is... I like this. 
I was kind of confused on what it is, so basically Liara is pretty much trying to track down the Shadow Broker big time and thinking that the Shadow Broker is on the run from her. Liara, you're kind of scary. She's quiet scary. Tally and Liara has, an, has a story arc, don't they? I know they have to. Just the way this is going, their story arc must be really good. Because they definitely changed a lot, they sure have. But next episode, we'll do this little thing for Liara, and then I feel like we should probably be able to get to Thane Krios and do the assassin mission next. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.